Thanks for watching this video. Please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also share this with your friends and family. <laughs>
really super energetic, full wall of sound. Radiohead in the old days when they were really rocking hard in like 1994. I could hear that. Um, you know, like the Benz or even Pablo Honey type of stuff. Yeah, but heard Modest Mouse, Pine Grove, the Built to Spill. It's a good one. That's a good comparison. <laughs> Tommy and Keegan are way better than me. So Mason Wolf, uh, your, your fearless uh, leader there of the Curtains Band, he has Lives now. It's his new yep. pop project, yep. which reminds me of uh, The Weeknd. Uh, no, it's, it's good. It's funny because Mason doesn't require auto-tune. I like that descriptor, like orchestrated is a good term. We have three guitars in there. Yeah, oh yeah, we're definitely musical sluts. I started playing by myself and I used to record all the all the parts by myself and it was like at a really dark point in my life. Pain is a motivator.
do you have like a, are you do you, are you one of the type of people that would sing in the shower? Mm, today. A little tighter, a little tighter. tighter. It's a really, it's an honor to get to talk. Scott plays bass uh, in curtains as well as empty coats. But uh, what we wanted, to, like curtains tonight. I mean, you, you guys and here in Kenmore. And uh, how did it feel, like, what, like oh, man. being up there? It's actually a really awesome venue. Like, I, having never been here before, it just kind of blew me away. Boy, what's up, man? My people. One of my favorites of all time. Jim Curtis uh, from Empty Coats. I'm Dave Ferratu. And so thanks, Ari Jane. Appreciate you for you. holding the camera and asking some questions. Peace. Thank you. So, Even though we have a lot of material, we've, we've recorded a few things. Like we have a full-length album and an EP and a couple singles. But yeah, I listen to you guys on Apple Music or iTunes yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's all out there. Because I don't have Spotify. Because I think the quality of Apple Music and iTunes is better. It actually is better. I agree. So yeah. I uh, I don't do Spotify. Fuck fuck Spotify. <laughs> I'm totally a music slut for sure. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, like, we'll play almost anywhere, that's what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Like, well, I want to see you guys on bigger stages because your yeah. music is, it's bigger, it's bigger than, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, honestly, you guys are worthy. You guys are that. worthy of that. Blossom Music Center. Oof, you man. guys are worthy of Red that Rocks, would be amazing. Colorado. Wow. You guys if are we did some worthy. stuff like that. Of, like you guys are worthy For of real. like uh, a lot of you know, I see a lot of say so Lollapalooza I mean Perry Farrell would love you guys holy shit man that would be like a dream come true okay like, are we dreaming about that now because that, that's a better dream than that we're not worthy. worthy as far as an aspiration that would be we're yes. not worthy <laughs> What are you guys doing there? I, I'm thinking like, yeah, I'm thinking like Chicago, bro. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, you guys, I don't know. Oh so, my God. but um, I would love to go to Chicago. I actually go there next week just for vacation. I'm with the band, but I'm super pumped with my beautiful girlfriend over here, Ariel. Yeah, I don't have a lighter. Give her a shout out. She's over there. She's all about sex. We were talking. She's great. <laughs> Well, we love each other. <laughs> I think for me, it's all about getting the story out. It's all about getting the story of empty coats and the story of curtains and the story of lives. I love it, man. Like, what's up with lives now? Are you? Uh, are you? Did you help Mason out uh, at all on, on the lives project? Oh man, I actually did not. But you know what? He is constantly working. Like that guy is. When it comes to music, he is a workaholic. He is constantly making beats. Like every day I come to the house, he's either playing a new song that he wrote or some beat that he made on Fruity Loops or some shit like that, you know? He is always making music. Mason Wolf. Mason Wolf. Fucking yeah, shout out Mason killer. Wolf. Oh, boy, I love that dude. Fucking killer. OG. Yeah, Number one. Yeah. And that's kind of like what got us all together because Jim and I met playing in Curtain. Yeah. And after a while, he's like, I have all these songs, almost like Dave Grohl style. He's just like, I'm a drummer in this band, but I have a million songs that I wrote, and I play guitar, and I can sing too. Would you want to be in my other band? And I was like, fuck yeah, absolutely, dude. Well, let's like, build up this brand of Empty Coats. Oh, what do you man. Say? Empty Coats, let's we build have up this an brand. amazing time. The way to do it lie. is to tell the story, man. You Andy, gotta dig deep. Between Andy and Jim, they're the best drummers I've ever played with. And then... All these other guys, like, we all have our strengths, you know what I mean? Like, Keegan was in choir as a kid. He's got the best voice out of all of us, by far. And still can play a mean-ass guitar. And then Tommy, he's a better bass player than me to start. He played, I first met him playing bass in the Buffalo Riders. And then uh, he, now he's full-time full with us. No longer, no, no longer with them. But uh, he is the best guitarist in our band now, too. It's like, not only is he a better bass player, he can play guitar better than everybody, too. Like, he's a... He's a fucking dog. It's a Buffalo Riders. I, and then Jim's songs are great. Like, it's yeah. so cool being able to be in both these bands because both Mason and Jim are songwriters. Just blow me away constantly. That's awesome. I feel privileged well, listen, to be in these bands. Scott, what's your last name now? Go Lightly. Scott, go Lightly. Listen, bro. Such a pleasure, dude. Listen, bro. You're, 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 you're so, so badass. Thank you. And uh, what's that song, Where the Jetty's At? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Stop it. 
Live from Akron, episode one. Where are the jetties at? Check this motherfucker out, And we're going to be at Porch Rocker and shit, too. I where are the jetties at? Out, but, uh, Dude, that's all me. Porch Rocker. Tell them what I thought that was. Where are the jetties? I misheard the lyrics. Where are the jetties? The jetties? The jetties? Are we talking yeah, like, like Forrest Gump? Like, like Jenny's, I don't like this. Oh, I could see that. I could see that. Yeah. Anyway. Whatever. All right. Thank you. I'm Dave Farah too. That's Ari Jane on the camera. This is uh, Scott. Go lightly. So helpful. Hell yeah. Thanks, Ari. You're Thank awesome. You. Appreciate you. We're taking gonna be a good time. Else. Looking for a job. <laughs> yeah, Look at these guys. Does this place have This is coordination here. <laughs> How many bonds do you have here? Skinner, come get in this picture. Go, go. Allison. Just everybody in general. Adam. What does this gig? What does this gig mean to you, bro? Uh, this is all for my kid, man. This is all for my kid. His, I'm, he's his fa- I'm just trying. The green note is. What is the green note? Is? I guess that'd be. I have an important question. I'm just curious. They obviously they chose their shirts for a reason. So how did you go about choosing your underpants for the day? What decides that? I went with function. What? Did, how did you function well, first? I only have one pair, and they've been wearing for a week, so I, just, I figured that'd be an easy like, choice. them like inside out, then? Yeah, I flip them every couple of days. <laughs> Good. Uh, thank you. I was just curious. There's a big I mean, question right in the center. Well, it looks like you know you don't like questions. I thought I'd give it a shot. Let's see what else we got. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. He can still drink through his mouth hole.